In this video, we're going to talk about the Euler phi function. The Euler phi function is defined as follows. For n, a positive integer, let phi of n be the number of positive integers a, where a is less than or equal to n, with the GCD of a and n equal to 1. This last bit here is another fancy way of saying that a and n are relatively prime. So let's write that down. a and n are relatively prime. Let's look at an example. Our first example, let's take a look at the number 12 and let's take a look at phi of 12. This is basically asking how many positive integers have the property such that they are relatively prime to 12 and they're less than or equal to 12. So if we consider for a moment the numbers that are relatively prime to 12, those would be 1, uh, 2 is not relatively prime to 12, uh, similarly, 3 and 4 don't work. 5, yes, is relatively prime. 6, no. 7, yes. 8 and 9 and 10, no. And 11. And so if we count these up, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. This suggests that phi of 12 is 4. Now, for larger numbers, we wouldn't want to be listing out all of the uh, numbers less than uh, n and, and computing whether they're relatively prime or not. The whole purpose of having a nice uh, function that tells us this is that there's a shortcut for calculating the number of integers uh, relatively prime to, to n. And that formula, uh, the formula for Euler phi function, uh, works as follows. Phi of p to the a, where p is a prime, so let's uh, denote that here, and a is any integer up there, uh, phi of p to the a equals p to the a minus 1 power times p minus 1. We'll also note that the Euler phi function is multiplicative in the sense that phi of a times b is the same as phi of a times phi of b. So let's revisit 12 and phi of 12 and see if there's an even better way to compute this rather than listing out all of the integers uh, less than 12. So let's compute uh, phi of 12, well, we need to look at this in terms of its prime factor decomposition. And so if we look at 12, uh, 12 is the same as 2 squared times 3. So this is phi of 2 squared times 3. Recalling that the Euler phi function is multiplicative, this gives us phi of 2 squared times phi of 3. And now we recall our formula. Uh, the Euler phi function of a prime to any power is the prime to the power minus 1 times the prime minus 1. Similarly, here for phi of 3, well, this is 3 to the first power. So when we look at our formula, we're going to have uh, p to the zeroth power, if you'd like to think of it that way, times the prime minus 1. And in general, we uh, usually just jump right to the shortcut that, that phi of a prime is the prime minus 1. But uh, it does follow from the formula quite nicely. And if we uh, continue on with the computation here, we get 2 times 1 times 1 times Two, and that comes out to be 4. And that is the same as uh, what we computed when we worked it out the long way. 